Fuck yeah. Guys, welcome back to another Gunner TV video. From Reddit Today, mod to Alpha Chad. The Fauxhawk. It's the industry <laughs> standard, really. Here's a thought exp Wait, this isn't a Fauxhawk. This is a, uh, a Rayhawk. I remember back in, whenever the Rays were in the World Series for the first time, everyone in Tampa used to get this fucking goofy thing. Fauxhawk, you gotta like spike that shit up. This is that Dark Souls 3 create a character preset hair stuff. Come on, man. No in between. If Let me see that poster one more time. Who do we got? We got uh, Jimmy Rex, the bull. Oh, everyone else has dumb names. Fucking Tim Ballard. He went to the wrong place. Man, I was looking for the Discord mod get together. Tim Ballard is the goat, you fucker. We have some Tim Ballard stands? What does he do? Why doesn't he have a cool name like the bull or Jimmy Rex? Let me see. I can I can say with a high level of confidence though, if Tim Ballard's one of the speakers at AlphaCon, be great or be nothing, probably not really like the fucking man. An anti-human trafficking activist and author, is that him? I can't tell, there's no picture here. I'll just assume it is, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That's good. Coming out against human trafficking is always a good thing. Hey, I'll be brave, I'll give a hot take. Human trafficking? Bad. I don't like it. If there's any human traffickers in here, get, hey. Get on the straight and narrow, alright? I'm tired of it. Cut out that monkey business, alright? We, we don't we do not do human trafficking here, alright? Enough horseplay. Cut it out, buster. Corner telling you people are buying tickets Aaron, right now. Or how about the fact that they were selling $500 virtual tickets all last month and only recently changed it to $97 in-person tickets? I would be absolutely enraged if I had spent that much money to watch a live stream of this shit show just to find out they changed prices and I can now go in person. For I think they're giving it away. But as much as I would love to spend I think it's a great price. In fact, there's not even an itinerary of the event to view and it's only three weeks out from happening. Instead, My I man, they can't spell itinerary. Specifically on each speaker. That was outrageous so to even think that because you see this picture clearly shows that his income is over a million dollars there's a dollar sign it says income above it his name on the account probably just got cropped out somewhere that happens to millionaires a lot how do i know oh i'm a multi-millionaire too <laughs> what's up you guys if you haven't seen already so you're living hey you better rock, be careful Cumplicon teasing the bull has somehow and i'm so grateful to all of you and even chris delia is talking about alpha con 2022 coming up so nothing's more alpha than getting everyone's name wrong isn't it chris delia but fuck yeah, man. I imagine he was making fun of it. I had never heard of AlphaCon, and I keep my finger on the pulse of all of this goofy shit. Was it really the number one trend in, uh, on Twitter? When I type in AlphaCon, the only thing that comes up are people on Reddit talking about how they believe it was a giant scam. So, I mean, I guess maybe it was trending. This has 900 updutes. I mean, far be it for me to question the infinite sage wisdom of the bull here, Jeremiah the Bull Evans, but to me, it looks like the only things that come up when I look at AlphaCon or uh, people talking about how it was a scam. If you tripped and fell and people started laughing at you, do you get up and thank them for the free publicity, but tell them, next time don't laugh. That was actually a serious performative fall and you're supposed to appreciate it. And you could buy tickets to me tripping and falling again next week. <laughs> no, people are gonna laugh because you're doing a funny thing. I don't care how many- Don't you ever compare AlphaCon to falling. don't wanna take advice from someone- who The only reason an alpha would fall is alpha. face first alpha into a vagina. Is a Jeremiah Evans also has a too. podcast because of course we all saw that one coming. And it's called crisp. The Bullpen. Gotta love that decor. We got a football, chess, an AK-47 whiskey bottle. That's Which pretty cool. The Bull has had many of the other AlphaCons. Hold on, that, uh, let's, let's- Pump the brakes a little bit. This setup, kind of fucking nice. AK-47 whiskey bottle? I might have to book tickets to the next AlphaCon, I'm not gonna lie to you. He's even made himself an Alpha record. Made himself a giant X record too, I don't really know what it means. I'm sure there's like a, a sword? Undoubtedly forged in Mordor or something like Super Alpha. There's probably just pairs of panties all over the place over here from different women that he's taken into the office. I mean, it's a cool setup. My favorite mantra that I say every day is I'm a lover, I'm a leader, I'm a lighthouse. Mm. I'm a lover what so does that my that wife mean? always craves me. Mm. <laughs> I'm a leader because well, why wouldn't you want to be a leader? I'm right. a lighthouse. We get to shine. Like there's these guys, they almost want you. I'm going to tell you right now, Keith, I'm sorry to hit you with the cold water. An alpha would never call himself a lighthouse because you shine. That is some beta 16-year-old emo poetry shit. My man, you gotta work on that. You're in the bullpen and you're calling yourself a lighthouse? You may have just- you should have just walked in and bent over and let the bull fuck you. This is outrageous. What a- what a poser. Where's your AK-47 whiskey bottle, huh, Keith? 
And Keith Yaki wasn't just saying that creepy wife craving him all the time line just cause, it's actually what he sells a course on. MarriedGame.com. <gasps> Learn the one simple thing you need to do to get your wife back in the bedroom again. And then there he is. Oh my god. Keith. Keith. This just screams I'm a cuck. Come on, man. Keith. You went into the bullpen and then released a My Wife Doesn't Wanna Fuck Me Anymore book? Keith. Why is he speaking at AlphaCon? He's lowering my testosterone levels. Maybe making fun of this is my bias. I'm 23, I don't have a wife, but selling a well, you could if you other men bought Keith Yaki's book. like the wrong medium, and probably the wrong focus, too. Shouldn't the course be about saving a failing relationship? Because I think that's the main reason that the sex thing is a problem at all. Now, no, 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 no. Hold on, I need to look at Keith Yaki myself. Keith Yaki... Sex is just one big part of it, but I'm sure Keith tackles the entire relationship. Keith Yaki. Oh, here we go, here we go. Keith Yaki has been a... Here, I got... He made a whole lore of himself. From the business called you. Keith Yaki has been a pastor. He's dated porn stars. He's created a multi-million dollar empire and promised himself that when he could, he'd share the principles that made it all possible. Even the dating the porn star thing. Available to as many as possible. He's got a purpose and a passion, and you're going to hear it all on today's episode of the Business Called You podcast. Uh, I'm, I feel like Keith wrote that himself. He's been asked to speak on stages with the biggest names ranging from music superstar Pitbull, Tony Robbins, Gary V, Russell Brunson, and Lewis Howes. And she's looking at me and tapping me under the table and saying, hey, listen, when we get out of here, you know, we're doing it in the car. <laughs> from totally gone... <laughs> to doing it in the car. Keith, you dirty dog. Damn, he's getting You're hard. Your, your wife is going to be blowing you in the middle of a Ruby Tuesdays. That is my promise to you. And with powers <laughs> like that, it's no wonder what a that Keith Yaki got the AlphaCon invite. Diesel Brothers and Discovery Channel, owner of One Mission Nutrition, FitCon Expo, and author of The Divorce Handbook. Of all people, yeah! The Divorce Handbook, all caps, like he's particularly excited about it. Divorce! Let's go! It's more like he's Get mad about it. that paperwork. Custody battle for the kids. Intense stress getting back into dating. Fuck yeah! $850,000 for violating the Clean Air Act over a hundred times. That is- Hey, that's alpha law. shit, All yeah. Environmental government compliance laws. That's pussy uh, shit. We're literally called the Diesel Bros. He's rolling coal. Diesel it up. I mean, for Alpha's sake, look at the first thing he reads every morning. If you don't kill it, your family <gasps> won't eat. That's facts. Really? No fucking way. This is something I've always noticed about alphas. They live their lives like actual high school girls. Putting words on your wall that are supposed to be, like, inspirational, but then, like, putting your man spin on it. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve to have me kill your deer. It's like, it's so weird. The divorce handbook. Because you're not a pussy. Joker quotes. Oh, true. Fuck the fucking fuckers before the fucking fuckers fuck you. This video slaps, not gonna lie. I told you, man. I recently found this guy's channel. I think he's great. Gunner TV. Fucking criminally underrated. I saw his Jack Manley video. And then I saw I made something on AlphaCon, which I'd never heard of, and so far, this is some fire. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Get hired to speak in an event, get pictures and videos of you doing so, and then use those to promote and get hired for more speaking events. And repeat this cycle enough, and eventually you're gonna get hired to speak at an event with a dumb fuck name and premise, like AlphaCon. Hey, let's not get carried away, alright? AlphaCon is a great goddamn name. Andrew Cordell. This guy actually does kind of look like Samwise Gamgee. Andrew Cordell. This is such a flattering picture of him when you Google his name. It's like he's about to judge your dish on MasterChef. This just sent me to a non-existent, not secure GoDaddy website. Thanks, Andrew. What What does he do? What do I just want to see what he does. It's a giant fucking nothing burger of information. I guess I'd have to watch one of the videos. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> Gunner TV wasn't wrong. The videos just do not work. Nor do they exist. Not a single one of them work? This is the guy that's gonna take my business and turn it into an empire? A guy who can't even check to make sure his own videos work on his website? Wanna learn the secrets to systems and processes that successful empires have been using for decades? Is it placating the... the audience? Like, just giving them nothing? Business isn't doing so hot. Andrew Cordell is my last chance. Time to apply. So it looks like he's done something kind of smart where he doesn't put the absurd price of his teaching publicly. 
So it looks like I would have to apply. I'd have to have a conversation with him. And he'd tell me what I owe him. Like, even just having that phone call, he'd probably bill me like 20 grand. Me too. What's up, guys? It's Gunner, the Monster Cock TV. Yes, I own every car here. If you guys haven't heard yet, GunnerCon 2022 is coming up. It's all about... Now, that's the real alpha shit. ...business growth and growing your business. And you know what? It is about being a gunner. The world doesn't want you to be a gunner. But a gunner is strong. A gunner is cool. A gunner is smart. Look, guys, I don't want to oversell this event, but it's going to be... Now, tell me how to fuck my it's wife. It's going to be tantamount to the emancipation... Otherwise, I'm going back to Keith Yaki like at AlphaCon. It's going to be tantamount to women's suffrage. It's going to be tantamount to something big. And we've got a lot of great speakers this year. We've got Gunner, then Gunner, followed by Gunner about seven more times, and then Keith Yaki. He's not yeah! Yeah! Well, that's oh. the end of the video today, Man, what the Chief. fuck? If you liked it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as well as follow me on the old gram. And in the comments, don't forget to leave stunt suggestions, guys. I am out of stunts. I need new suggestions. Thanks, Reset. So Aloha. Please do that. Thank you. With the that all said, good day. My time is money. I gotta get out of here and make sure this number keeps going up. What a fucking banger. And thanks to the Prime Gunner. Criminally underrated. Criminally underrated. I hope you and your girlfriend are happy. Well, now we are after I watched the little Alpha Con. Now I know what she needs. She needs seminars on business growth, sports card pack openings, and also she needs to tell me that we have to fuck at a restaurant. So now I have every tool I need to make sure it stays a happy relationship.